The latest battle coming as construction on a new 14-mile chunk of the border wall wraps up in San Diego, and that is where we find William Lajeunesse live now on the southern border. William, good morning. Well, Bill, uh, so far the administration has put in about 57 miles of new fencing, replacing this, which was put in in the early 90s, with the steel bollard style. That's Mexico over there. They just completed that 14-mile project here. Also, Bill, they are putting in 14 miles of secondary fence. You can see it's 30 feet tall. You have an anti-scaling plate on top. That is one reason they say the apprehensions here are going down as well. 43% nationwide in just the last two months. But the big reason, the main reasons for those drops, the crackdown in Mexico and that Remain in Mexico program where we have now 40,000 asylum seekers staying in Mexico to await their hearing. Up to 40,000. 450 now a day. They're really ramping up that program, sending a message to those in Central America who are saying, hey, they will not come if they can't stay. It is having that deterrent effect. The conditions in Mexico, migrants say, are bad. They don't have any more money, so they're choosing to stay home. Now, some are being put into buses going down to the Guatemala border, some by choice, some not. The CBP commissioner, Mark Morgan, denied yesterday, as critics claim on Capitol Hill, that the U.S. is effectively denying migrants the right to due process. When we say we're assisting, we're going to continue to give them a capacity building information and guidance on how they can do their job. But it's the government of Mexico's job to make sure that their shelters are adequate enough, just like it is on our, our side. The other major success is Mexico with that crackdown, pulling people off buses, that kind of thing, putting the National Guard. It may not be sustainable, but right now it is having a big difference. Thank so you, William. William Lajones, live in San Diego on that.